So you said you help kids. What is the age group? I mean, all the way up through, is it college? We, we oh, do, do kids college. Are, kids are struggling in college yeah. because of COVID and everything else like Justin and I were talking about in the last segment. Yeah. I mean, it affects everyone. So ages go from... Kin kindergarten through, you know, we'll, we do a lot of math seems to be, you know, where the college kids struggle. And mm -hmm. we've got some super, super math instructors at the limit. Um, they'll come in and work with the instructors. You know what? I, I wish I knew about that because when I went to MJC years ago, I, I did an assessment. I got into Math 70, which didn't even count towards your credits, but you had you had to do Math 70, Math 90, then you were into Math 101 where it finally started accounting for your credits. Anyway, I I was in Math 70 and I was stuck, yeah. you know, and I just I dropped that class. I just to get my money back. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I knew I knew I knew about money. So we actually had you know a. 60 year old man that was going back to college to get his master's and he was struggling with math so he came and worked with us and passed his class and got his master's nice very nice yeah, yeah and so. today also we were talking about um you know my my daughter she's a uh, certified she's a teacher and uh got her teacher's credential down at concordia university here in california and she has decided that she wants to homeschool her children yeah. and as of course you know a lot, of, a lot of it was the curriculum and everything else, but I remember I would struggle once the kids maybe got into high school. Uh, you know, some of those math classes, now they're teaching math differently, and then they mm -hmm. ended up getting that whole new math in that was... Comical, right? Uh, yeah, well, you, you, know, you can't start that in the middle and change how someone, you know, you know right. learns. But uh, so for moms that are homeschooling, do they use your services or what would you suggest for moms out there that have decided to homeschool? Yeah, that's a great question. We have, we have helped parents that have kids that are homeschooled um, and they, you know, most homeschools have to report to a school um, as far as testing and stuff for the kids to make sure they're on track. So if they get behind, I have had homeschool parents that have came to me for help. Um, but also I recommend it if there are parents out there that are homeschooling their kids, so it is a great way just to make sure that you're on track. So we do a comprehensive assessment, reading and math assessment that we can give to the child and let those parents know, yep, you're on track or nope, you're sliding a little bit behind. Here's the areas where you need to focus for those homeschool moms. So um, parents come back maybe once a quarter to yeah. test their kids, just to make sure they're on track through the school year. So it isn't that you have to, so here comes the same thing. I mean, it's like, do you have to sign up as a parent, you know, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna have to sign up and it's gonna be so expensive, but you can do something like once a quarter or just get your child to set up. Just you know, testing, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, just so, to track them. So you're listening to Small Business Voice with Justin Duggan, Jeanette Horney on Power Talk 1360 KFIV and the iHeart Radio app. And we're here with Lynn Doucet, owner of Sylvan Learning Center. If you wanna, if you need your kids to be tutored, if you're looking for a tutor, um, getting your kids back on track, or if you're an okay, adult, an assessment. Yeah, first, yeah. first find out where your child is lacking, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, you can call 209-491-5406 or the direct line is 209-491-5408. And the website is www.sylvanlearning.com. Did you get that right, Dor? <laughs> I, it's on the card. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> no, I, was, I was watching her and she was like doing this with a little hand motion. And, okay. uh, oh, did I get that right then? The direct line is 06. Oh, My okay. direct line is 08. Oh, oh, your direct line is 08. Okay, yeah. I apologize. Okay, and now oh. if school has started, now is when, you know, the kids are also going like, ah, I don't know, the notes are coming home. And, yes. and so if someone gives you a call, is there a waiting list to be able to get in and get your child assessed? Or how often do you assess uh, children? Do you have certain days? Or? Yeah, we assess, well, we're, we're open Monday through Thursday for assessments. Um, the office is open from 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. The assessment takes about an hour to an hour and 45 minutes, depending on the child and depending on what you want to assess them in. And then immediately afterwards, we're able to pull those reports to review with the parent. So it's a, a nice quick process and then we actually have the ability, we've, we've got teachers that are um, 
they're all part-time. Most all of our teachers are either currently credentialed or retired teachers, so they know how to teach. I was going to ask that, so thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, yeah, and they have a passion. This is just this is part-time job for them. They they the retired teachers just love what they're doing. They don't want to do it full-time, but it gives them an opportunity just to be with those those kids and 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 teach. So. Mm -hmm. And these days, kids are so busy. So I mean, yeah. uh, I know just with my sons, it's like they didn't come home after school because there was weight training or else they had to go super early in the morning, but then they had football practice and football practice was every single day oh. and then Friday night was a game. And you know, it's like, are you available on weekends? We are. We are. Oh, we are. okay. <laughs> I was scared to ask you that question. I was gonna say that was the only time yeah, that, Friday, uh, Fridays were closed. Kids are done. Teachers are done. So, um, so you're so Monday through Thursday, and then Saturday. And then Saturday. Okay. So. And what are the hours? Nice fresh. Um, we tutor. We have three sessions: Monday through Thursday, three thirty, four thirty, five thirty. We have an earlier session on Wednesday because my desk is city schools. It's out a little bit early. That's the minimum day. Mm. And then from ten to two on Saturday. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, so. You know, because that's one thing. So if someone was struggling, and you, you said math is something that they really struggle with, uh, and they're in football, and they're in sport, they have to keep their grades up. Uh, so these Saturday sessions, I can just see the whole football team coming in. But do you do mass group, or is it individual, or is it less money if they do it in a it's group be, study hall? It's got to be better individually because in a group, you're already in a group setting in school. Yeah. yeah. And, and so this is a three to one student teacher ratio. And I could go into how, why we do it three to one, but everybody at the table, there's one, two other students at the table with the student, and they're all doing their own individual learning plan. So once they do that assessment, we actually develop a personal learning plan for every child. So we're only focusing on the needs that that specific child needs. Um, so group setting is something that we do in the schools. We, we do have a program that we're out in the schools and we do um, group tutoring. Oh, okay. we, if there's any schools out there that need um, tutoring support for the after school program. So is that again just the Sylvan School District or what, what do you no. offer to public schools? Public schools, um, it's our ACIP program and we um, go in and we will, the, the school can sign up. It's, they, they use their Title I funding um, for the program and you know, we so the Title One funding, they can hire your services to come into the school yep. to do tutoring uh, or group tutoring after school or in the classroom or after school. Okay. Our program is, I mean, we'll do it during school if they want to. Yeah, it's, typically <laughs> after, it's typically after school. It's still small group, eight to one. So um, the kids get lots of lots of personal attention, but we'll come in and we'll assess them and we'll meet the kids where they're at. So if you've got a third grader and there's lots of them out there, unfortunately, because COVID has just had this huge ripple effect. Yeah. Um, but if we test a third grader and they're testing first grade reading, they're going to go into a first grade reading group. If we test a third grader and they're in second grade reading, they're going to go into second okay. grade reading. You know what? We're coming towards the end of the segment, but that's what I want to ask. I want to also think about this. Yeah. Where, what, you, what grades are you finding and what problems are they having? But uh, we'll continue this conversation. Yeah, so we need you for another segment. Yeah. All right. All right, thanks. So, so you're listening to Lindsay Say from Learning Center, learning, Sylvan Learning Center. Uh, she can be reached at 209-491-5406, or the direct line is 209-491-5408. Did I get that right? I did not. Is that what your card says? 5406 is Sylvan's direct line. Okay. It's my direct line. Okay, so the direct line is 5408. To okay, Sylvan. okay. To Sylvan. To Sylvan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we we got to go over your card because I'm getting confused here, so that's okay. I'm easily confused. You should never do that segment, though. So how can they reach you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do. Yeah, maybe it's, it's me. Right. Maybe I need. Maybe, maybe I need tutoring on how to read your cards. So That's all right. yeah, there Back you go. To school time, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so you're listening to Small Business Voice with Justin and Jeanette Forney on Power Talk 1360 KFIV and the iHeartRadio app. Stay with us.